Let's see what's brewing in the tropics here. Nothing brewing in the tropics in the next 48 hours. There's more controversy tonight surrounding GM's ignition switch recalls as a new bill is introduced. Families of victims killed in... Okay, now, Typhoon Remison rebut damage to the Philippines now. A Category 1 storm with a wind speed of about 90 miles per hour, gusting up to 115 miles per hour. And it is going to make some landfall around high on it. As a Category 3 typhoon near. And it's going to make second landfall as a Category 1 storm in Northern Vietnam on Friday and making the landfall in Hanan on Friday. And it's going to weaken the tropical storm and be around Myanmar here and sub central China here. Okay. And the number of the liner shot some of them very heavy as forming along and a slowly approaching cold front. They shall move across the eastern Massachusetts Rhode Island clear out this evening. A few thunderous results possible. The heavy rainfall will likely cause problems during the homeward bound commuter, especially along Route 128, 95, 3, and 24. And we have a flash flood warning in effect here. A Vietnam vet grateful to the strangers who fixed his broken wheelchair on the spot. The remarkable act of kindness. We have a flash flood warning the main effect until 5.30 p.m. for our East Central, Middlesex, and Central Essex counties. At 3.18 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, trained weather spotters will put a flash flood around Royal Fam, Lexington, and Arlington here. With numerous road closures, reports have been gathered of motorists being held, trapped in their cars with the flooded waters. Around two inches of rain has fallen, flush flood is already occurring. Do not drive in the flooded water. Is there? Precursory preparatory action. Most flood depths in occurring vehicles. Turn around, don't drown. A flash flood warning is a condition of rapidly, potentially life threatening and flooding. Flooded streets, center passes, diminishing in urban areas, avoid flooded roads or bay closures. Do not drive flooded roads on the alternate route. See here? So this is a flash flood warning from Newburyport, Newburyport, and then Ipswich all the way down to Topsfield, Reading, down to Peabody, Woburn, and Newton. So those of you in that area, try to be patient and try to wait at the flash flood warning. You have about 5.11, so it's 19 minutes into the flash flood warning here. And we are still under a flash flood watch until 8 o'clock for much of Eastern Massachusetts. And up in and we have still have a flash flood watch for much of Eastern Massachusetts here. Until 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening for much of Mass for Eastern Massachusetts here. Shots and few thunderstorms will continue to move north across the eastern Massachusetts this afternoon before shifting into the Cape Islands. And local heavy rainfall may be lead to urban localized flash flood and urban flash flooding is primary concern. As a flash flood watch, the means conditions may develop that lead to flash flooding. Flash flood is a very dangerous situation here, as you should monitor a little forecast and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings then be issued. Here, showers will diminish this evening in light of the bands of rain on the Cape New Orleans. The early morning hours of tomorrow morning. And tomorrow we will see some few and spilly showers tomorrow. Otherwise, a beautiful day on tap. And a beautiful stretch of weather on tap. And Swansea, New Hampshire, 4.60 inches rain so far. And Marshfield, 3.11 inches rain total. Two points now, 65 to 72 degrees. But tomorrow, Double point's going to be comfy here. Yeah, ooh, you're going to have you know, a treat. After we survive the rain, we will have a beautiful weather that will pay off after a three days of rain here in humid weather. Alright, let's take a look at our view from the outside here. And shows a little soupy up, but 24 hours for that, it's going to be pleasant. And low humidity on tap. Alright. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this. For tonight, 
We are going to see a chance of showers before 8 p.m. Patch of August after 2 a.m. of August. Most of the got low in 63 degrees. Light and variable wind. Chance of precipitation 30% and new appearance of air mines less than 10 minutes inch possible. Thursday, most of the sky got 83 degrees. North wind about 3 to 5 miles per hour. President, most of the coast got low in 59 degrees. Southwest wind about 5 miles per hour. Light and variable after midnight. For Friday, the sky got 81 degrees. West wind about 3 to 5 miles per hour. Friday night. Park got alone to 66 degrees. Saturday, most of the sky down near 82 degrees. Saturday night, Park got alone to 61 degrees. Sunday, most of the sky down near 82 degrees. Saturday night, Park got alone to 61 degrees. Monday, Park got sky down near 81 degrees. Monday night, Park got alone to 63 degrees. Tuesday, most of the sky down near 83 degrees. Tuesday night, Park got alone to 66 degrees. Wednesday, most of the sky down near 84 degrees. Haters, what a phrase of the day. Human night attack, but. But sunny and comfortable temperatures be in store for tomorrow with Lauren Dewpoint. See here? All right, Peter Channel News Time 514 Town Half out of Trevor Ford here. And let's start it off in Greater Boston where Southeast Expressway bump for the bump around both sides from South Boston all the way down for the brain tree split due to the next to the none. The Southeast Expressway on the southbound side in Dorchester. So if you're in that area, try to allow yourself some few minutes to have extra time, okay? Route 3, South Naps, and then Brain Tree split so it's backed up from the next way all the way down to the Union Street on the southbound side of Route 3. Route 24, South Naps, and as you approach 139 in Stilton here. And now, when section 120 and 24 are congested on the on ramps here. 95, South a little slow from 120 all the way down to Sharon here. West Virginia. And Tip O'Neill Tunnel bumper to bumper on both sides here. 93 South, a little slow from 20 to Somerville down to the Zaken Bridge and down to the Tip O'Neill Tunnel. 93 North, a little slow from Zaken Bridge all the way down to Medford here. Doing an exit to the 93 North near Assembly Square in Somerville here to stress some, some extra time in that area. Route 1 on the northbound side, a little bumper to bumper from 93 in Boston all the way out to Everett there. And 1 South, a little slow from Malden all the way down. Danfield. Linfield due to the flooded rains there and route 107 on the northbound side around the Saugus Lynn section is closed due to the flooded rains there. 120 on the southbound side and exit it up. You put route 20 and Walt Dam here. And 120 on the step on side of the little soul from 97 Southfield to Peabody. And then it is all backed up in the step on side from route 3 to Burlington all the way, all the way out to Green Tree here on the northbound side. A little slow from Kenton all the way out to Dedham and then a little slow from Mass Pike and Weston all the way out to Reddy near Mass Pike and Westbound side. All back up from Austin back to Tolls down to Nate. Mass Pike and the Eastbound side a little slow from Boston. From Newton all the way down to the Ted Williams Tunnel here. 95, more side, both sides from 128 to the New Hampshire border. 495, North Little Slope from 114 and Andover all the way out to Haverhill due to an accident on 495 North. Still have some cells around. These are not As you put the most exit to 110 in Lawrence there. Are not getting and 495 South Little Soul around here in However, Lowell here. Route 93, more five from both sides, 120 to the New Hampshire border here. Route 3 on the northbound side, a little slow around the Bill Breaker stretch and the Burlington stretch and the little stretch here. 495 on the southbound side, an accident after you pass Route 20 in North Burn Marlboro stretch and you're slow from 20 Marlboro to the Mass Pike here. But otherwise, you're going to go from Amesbury all the way down to Milford here and 24 southbound, a little slow from 24 to Raynham down to Taunton due to an accident on Route 24 southbound between 44. 140 in Taunton, random stretch, so try to sell some extra time. And 45 a little slow after you pass Route 24 in random here, and otherwise 45 is good to go from 128 to 45 is good to go from Mass Pike to Wareham, and 25 on the eastbound side a little slow, you put Route 6.
And a bottom bridge on the south hand side also. And then the train north will slow the picture board on where we But the bottom side of Bridge is more fine and route 6 more fine from Sagmore and the Sandwich. And 195 will also from 103 as you put your back bridge and fall away for Bud Rising. You're good to go from Providence down to Wareham. And take a look at the Providence and routes, Providence traffic here. 95 South, you'll slow it up from Branch Avenue all the way down to 146 and 95 North, will slow it from 195 all the way down to. We'll show you Route 44 in Providence and 6 Santa Cruz for the little soul you put. 95 in Providence here. And 295 more five for both sides from Albert down for Warwick and 146 North Little Soul from 99 and Cumberland down through North Smithfield here. And James Sandy New Port Bridge will on fine and 95 for Providence to the Connecticut border here. Okay, Peter Channel News time 518. Time now for the latest news on tap. Clouds for the morning, getting brighter during the Top story shows Israel agreed Wednesday to haul its airstrikes in Gaza for five hours of law. Humanitarian aid found a request from the United Nations Relief Works Agency. And from ABC News, four boys were playing on a beach in Gaza were killed by an Israel barrage today, according to witnesses. The latest scream of the air battle between Israel and the militant group Hamas. And in a decision that could wipe California's death penalty off the books, the Los Angeles federal judge has declared that state's capital punishment law unconstitutional because of the decade death row inmates must evaluate rape before execution. Hinn's County Republican Party Chairman Pete Perry tells reporters 350 possible legally cast votes were found in Mississippi's largest county in the Senate runoff between the incumbent and Republican U.S. From CN. Red Ox Fox faces an appeal fire in pursuing Time Warner. In New York, the director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention acknowledged one day that the systematic safety problems have for years plagued by federal public health. Laboratories that handle dangerous germs such as anthrax and bird flu. In Washington, President Obama escalated sanctions against Russia on Wednesday by targeting a series of large banks and energy defense firms what officials described as the most punishing measures safe from Moscow, Zemirjan, and Ukraine. In the news around the world, Mr. Assange has spent two years at Ecuador's London embassy to avoid extradition to Sweden over an allegation of sexual assault. At a hearing in Stockholm, this court prosecutors demanded that the warrant issued in late 2010 should be upheld. A court has cleared the Netherlands liability in the of the vast majority of 8,000 British seen Muslims slain in the Srebrenica massacre 19 years ago, but today they've compensated the families of more than 300 men turned over to the Bosnian Serb forces here in Washington. <laughs> Senate Republicans on Wednesday blocked the bill aiming at restoring free conception of women who would get the health insurance from companies with religious objections unless they Step back, but the Democrats today hope it will be political. Louisiana State Police in New Orleans would say the bomb that shut down the University of Louisiana and Lafayette for a day was a fake hoax. Police search a local storage facility owned by an unlicensed funeral director who was the focus of a team. In business news, the Obama administration has urged congressional leaders to take swift action to halt the rush in the United States companies moving abroad. In New York, the dollar rose broadly on Wednesday amid market speculation. Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen tilted toward tightening the monetary policy that kept the United States. And U.S. official warns the loss of the bank mortgage stall. Close out lease for our lowest 149 a month with no cost maintenance included. Lowest zero <laughs> in technology news, long winning saga of our e-book price fixes may be wrong for a close, and many consumers may find a surprise end in some conversation of Apple. Roosevelt Securities, Brian Blaine, Bloomberg's Corey Johnson discussed the alliance between Apple and IBM with Trish Regan on Street Smart. New England's most convenient airport, featuring easy access, affordable parking, and much more. In entertainment news, the Billy Idols perform on stage at Dodger Stadium in New York second base. The band's live gigs will be the subject of a new documentary. Well, who can say no to that? Certainly not Ellie Michaela, the two and a half men star and announcer gave to the boyfriend of New York to you, Stephen Ringer, via Instagram on Tuesday. In science news, in the dinosaur kingdom, the raptor reigns as a pop culture boogeyman. While not as big as the T Rex, the feathered creature had to be a mean son of a teeth of claws. The Ad Arab Emirates, one of the world's tallest towers, now reached the stars. The energy rich Middle Eastern country that plans Wednesday to establish a space program and send the first Arab spaceship to Mars in 2021. It's still made for a crazy conspiracy theory that a big mysterious crater has formed in a Siberia known as the end of the world, reports the Siberian Times. 
In health news, the number of Americans have been struck, the number of dying found strokes increased over 20 years. The past 20 years, according to a new study. In Washington, a new United Nations report suggests that the AIDS epidemic may be winning the number of HIV infections worldwide at a new record low. AIDS related deaths are down 35% or more people. By injecting a gene into a pig's heart, scientists have created a biological pacemaker that can regulate heartbeats and achievement that eventually may lead to an alternative electronic pacemakers on some people. Here. In news from Boston.com, a flash flood warning issue for Eastern Massachusetts. Here. Water main break closed in Needham Street in Newton. And let's take a look at Needham Street in Newton. They have every single thing on my list and with 70% off, who knows what I'll find? Wait there, you guess what I need? Everything I want, you gotta go in. Wait there, and the shipping was free. Now I'm home, I wanted to be. And home at Wayne. This is, this is New, Needham Street in Newton to help control their cholesterol, but there may not be evidence that this drug is doing you more harm than good. Here's Dr. Tim Johnson. So, Exercise if you want to go, then... That's the trifecta of managing high Will middle of kids engage? Dude, you're getting jenny now! So instead of and Patriots defense lineman Armstead retires. And the Boston Red Sox have the night off for the All-Star break. Researchers in the UK Friday, they will be back at Family Park to begin the second half of the season with a three-game weekend series against the Kansas City Royals. And the New England Revolution will be out in LA for a date with the LA Galaxy. Another sports news here. Derek Jeter's final also appearance has helped boost TV ratings for the game. American League's 5-3 win today in Minneapolis with more than 11.3 million viewers on box up from 11 million at last year's game. No millions believe that Tiger Woods can win open as the man in the question has won in golf tournament in the new year. He has a terrible 2014 season by his standards. He has been injured. Before the start of the free agency, the Indiana Pacers developed a strong plan to keep their promise yet puzzled. Unrestricted free agent Lance Stevenson who has signed a contract with a Charlotte Hornet. And that's coming in for July 16, 2014 on a Wednesday evening. I'm Peter Woods here. Have a good night. Have a good evening, and I'll be back at 11 o'clock. Have a good evening with a good positive attitude. I'll see you at 11.